Will you tell us how much you paid in federal income taxes in 2016 and 2017? Millions of dollars. I'm, and you'll get to when? see it. But let Inshallah. me just tell you. Inshallah has been added to the growing list of Islamic phrases that are slowly making their way into the mainstream. But there is one problem. But let me just tell you. The phrase has pretty much lost its true meaning. Inshallah has come to be known as a phrase meaning something that is unlikely to happen in the future or a nice way of saying no. It's become known as an innocent term to avoid commitment and accountability. Like when someone asks you to do something you really don't want to do or when you're expected to arrive on time to a certain event. But the true meaning of Inshallah is far from meaning this will not happen nor is it a nice way of saying no. The phrase Inshallah literally means if God wills. And Muslims are instructed to say it before embarking on matters they intend to perform. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, وَلَا تَقُولَنَّ لِشَيْءٍ إِنِّي فَاعِلٌ ذَلِكَ غَدَى إِلَّا أَنْ يَشَاءَ اللَّهِ And never say of anything, indeed, I will do that tomorrow, except by adding, if Allah wills. It's a powerful way of invoking Allah in our daily affairs and acknowledging that nothing will happen except through His permission. In fact, by making the statement, Allah, we also find that it is a means of attaining the help and assistance of Allah in our affairs, even if they may be far off or difficult. The Prophet Muhammad taught us that Prophet Sulaiman's high ambitions did not come into fruition one night after he neglected to say, Allah. However, had he made sure to say the phrase, he surely would have succeeded. The Prophet also taught us that Ya'juj and Ma'juj will forever be trying to break the barrier blocking them in despite their strenuous efforts until they finally give in and say, Insha'Allah. We also saw in the Quran that when Musa السلام, instructed Bani Israel to slaughter the cow, they were left wandering in circles going back and forth, failing to perform anything. However, once they finally said, Insha'Allah, and acknowledged the will of Allah in the matter, they were finally able to slaughter the cow. So while many of us have understood insha'Allah as a synonym for no or unlikely, let us not forget the significance and value of this powerful word, insha'Allah, if Allah wills. If you enjoyed this video along with all the other content that One Path Network produces, please support us so we can create more beneficial content for the world. Go to onepathnetwork.com and you can support us from as little as $1 a day. Jazakumullah khair for your support.